you know, there was a very uh, entertaining uh, fight for reasons that you'll see as it unfolds. A scheduled 12 round IBF super middleweight fight that was eliminated between Asakio Bika of Sydney, Australia, and Jean Paul Mendy, the undefeated fighter from Paris, France. And going into the fight, we said, you know, this is a big international battle, very, very important. A battle for the number one position in the IBF at 168 pounds. Bika came in here 28 3 and 2, 19 KOs. Jean Paul was in here 28 and all undefeated with a draw. 16 knockouts. So the bell for round one, this is the way it went. Sakio Pika against Jean Paul Mendy. Notice their bodies when you see them. Fight. A tremendous fight. Obey my commands all the time. Punches here are good. Punches here are good. Touch them up. God bless. Joe Cortez takes command. He's fair but firm. And you'll see how firm he had to be in this fight as it unfolds for you. Pika again via the Cameroons in West Africa. You Fought in the 2000 Olympics in Sydney, loved it, and he stayed there. My pal Alex Vela drove him around all the time when Bika was down there, and Alex a great entertainer, so Bika loved it, and he decided to stay. Uh, Bika will be trying for the right-hand lead here, the left hook against the lefty. It's a good style. And a lot on the line for these guys, top-rated fighters. So, see if it has the opportunity for something dramatic to happen early. Mendy the southpaw, as you see. And watch how that works into Bika throwing the right hand. Remember, for the southpaw, they say the left hand down the middle is what you got to look out for. Well, conversely speaking, for the southpaw, look out for the right hand down the middle, and you'll see what happens here. It's quite dramatic. And then it's really strange. Right hand lead, double left hook. Keep your lead foot outside the lead foot of your opponent. Try to keep him in small circles. That's the textbook on the left hand. Jeff Fennick, Angelo Hyder, and Alex Vela, they all claim that this uh, Pika is going to be huge in the world scene, and he may be. But as you'll see what happens, it's not his night in the final analysis. And things are going very well from right now. And watch how it slips away. See what he did? Right there. The guy was on his knees, and he hit him when he was down, and knocked Time. out Jean Paul Mendy. Time. While Mendy was on his knees, referee Joe Cortez jumps uh -oh. right on it, okay. sees what happened, recognizes it, because he's a seasoned professional, and he ends up disqualifying Sakio Bika, which is exactly what should be done. He did. He did. He did. And that's why right. big fights belong yeah, here did, right? in Las Vegas. The doctor in there, and at this stage, you can't see his eyes, but Mindy's hurt, and he's hurt bad. Cool. And it was a hesitation shot. He's down. And you'll see how vulnerable he is to be hit when he's down with a vicious uppercut. And I'm going to ask a director, Frank Belmont, to give us a few replays of that, because I want you to see exactly what happened. Look at Mindy. He, he doesn't know where he is right now. He doesn't realize what happened to him. It's so dangerous when you're down and your neck is relaxed. And if somebody hits you, you can break your neck and be killed. Man, That's why it's immediate disqualification. And a good rule. Joe Cortez was right behind 